Hi, sinful to God. How are you today? Thank you. How have you been? I have been a lot of things. A lot of things. Mm, but at the moment, I think I'm okay. Oh, no. How have you been? From what you can tell, the candle gets locked in a place if it's correct. Did you try yellow candle in a very spot? I did not. I'm gonna go get the blue. Uh, um, yeah, yellow candle from here. If I can find it again, so it's like uh, the yellow. No, no, the red maze and the blue maze are really hurtful for the brain, no matter how freaking maze-like they are. All right, let's try it for every spot. I don't think the yellow candle belongs here. Yeah, this looks interesting. Yes, it is supposedly horrible horror and we are super scared of it. It has been absolutely terrifying so far. With, uh... Yes. Okay, how about the red candle then? The guy that walked through did the red first, then tried every candle in every spot in the blue and failed. And then put the yellow candle in the yellow room. Okay, so we go to the red first. Let's try it. Dark occult is terrifying. Makes you jump out of your seat. I'm sorry. Uh, I probably wasn't too clear. I'm being sarcastic. So, so far... Like, I do see things that could be terrifying, but I just generally don't find them terrifying. But to be fair, like, uh, the amount of horror games that actually would scare me is so far zero. So, yeah. I haven't found yet a scary horror game. I've tried my best, but failed. Hopefully one day. But this one definitely has potential on its own way. I like how we haven't seen the monster yet properly on a good lighting. So we are not 100% sure how it even looks like. It's... I got the same. I do like it. A lot. It gives it a uh, eerie feeling when you have no idea what is the thing that is against you kind of thing. I don't think we are doing this right. Yeah, nothing is working. So I think something is wrong. But what? Well, I do not know. The guy put the red one in the middle and the yellow to the right. In the red room? But they didn't get locked. Uh, was there any sort of indicator for it that they were in the right place? Also, are the paintings the same? That is what I'm wondering. Are the paintings the same? And then you go to these puzzles that makes it more scary because you don't know what's going to come at you. Also, if I didn't ask, how are you today, cool stormer? Uh, I haven't, like, puzzles for me personally, they are just frustrating. I don't find them scary. <laughs> just get frustrated for them. For some reason.
stare at the middle painting. Mm -hmm. Staring at the middle painting. Okay, yeah, then I know what is wrong. We need green one for this one. Jesus was red. But what is blue? What painting is blue? That I need to find out. But yeah. I think I know how we are supposed to make it then. Cross it then. We need to find the Jesus painting. Put the red one there. But the yellow I don't know, and the blue I don't know. I want to get the fuck out of Unless if the yellow and... No, it, no, it doesn't work that way either. Mm, in his walkthrough, what paintings were the blue and the yellow one? Stuff. Shit. Keep thinking straight. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Here. There. This is bad. Like, really fucking bad. Here. Okay, then. I don't know paintings. It looks like yellow was Moses. Uh, so this one. How about the blue one? Okay. Was the blue one this or something else? Was it the lady? The lady alone or... This kind of I'm just wondering, like, does it matter where they are as long as if they are the correct ones or next to the correct paintings or? all three of the paintings that we are supposed to have. But it still doesn't seem to lock any of them in the right places. So 
it's like, are they supposed to be in the same room? Or are they supposed to be just next to the right painting? Or are they all supposed to be in their own colored room with the uh, right painting or something? This one would be pink. the color. Okay, so that was right. Awesome. Right. No, that one was right. Okay, okay. All right. So that one was right. So it has to be yellow candle in the yellow room goes to the yellow painting. So I guess when we go to the blue... Freaking puzzle like in here. Why? There. Okay. So the blue painting. But it doesn't belong to that one. So the blue one is immediately in the wrong one. I take it. And if they both don't belong in the yellow one. Hey, at least we got the one in there, so that's already forward. Even if it's slow progress, it's still progress, I think. Maybe. And seems like I haven't learned how to navigate here. Alright. But there is not the right painting. We put the blue candle in the room underneath Mary. But was there even a Murray in that room? Because look at it! I cannot put the yellow candle anywhere in here. No, because the puzzles changed. Okay. But yeah, look at it! The yellow uh, red candle doesn't go anywhere in the red room. Neither does the blue. Maybe you are in the wrong year. Wait. 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 That would explain quite a bit. But that is also at the same time very, very, very fucking disgusting. Yeah, I, I know already, like now when you said maybe you are in the wrong year, I figured out what I'm supposed to do. But at the same time, like, that is a really massive puzzle on the way. Like, you need to remember what year you are at. You need to travel with the candles, and then you need to find the thing from Oh dear. Okay, so, um, but that doesn't make sense. Because I would have thought that the yellow candle would go into the 2022 then, and the red candle would go to the 1987. That is what I would have thought with that, since there were the colors. But 
Let's start it from the blue one and check out if there is the Mary in there. If it's not, then we'll just go backwards and we'll find out something else. Now I just need to figure out what is the easiest way to travel to the blue room. Because I have learned how to travel in the red. Okay, that works. Yeah, that sound is from Visage. That sound is so fucking, uh, fucking much from the Visage. This is because at the beginning I figured, like, um, got scared by that noise because I knew that it would mean that the monster appears. It's not a very intuitive, intuitive game. Okay, so now we have left the red candle. I don't think we can put it here, anywhere. So we have to go back into that another year. I think. I think. But I do like how they have made the time traveling in it. That I do like. I like your logic, but game disagrees. Yeah. Hey, it was good logic. It was. The game was me. But hey, at least I'm familiar with the map now. Oh, at least more familiar. Alright. And that one goes there. Now the monster is gonna jump on us. The color of Jesus. Yep, that notification sound and something eerie is gonna happen is straight from the siege. Or who knows, maybe a lot of other horror games have used it as well. Just don't remember it from anywhere else than the siege. She's making noises in there. Right, interact. And you are all alone again. Thanks. Okay. Now we either go here and try to ring the bell, or we go to the newest year and try to cry in the pieces in there. Or Oh no. I just don't think that it would be on anywhere up there. So now to back to 1951. Oh, boy, Am I insane or is there something over there?
Yeah, it's coming. Oh, fuck this thing. I'm gonna go ring the bell first before I do anything. Our father in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Well, I guess I don't ring the bell then. this oh there was a jump scare behind it awesome another candle free room <laughs> my, my, my hand what the fuck was that yeah what the fuck indeed I, I gotta get out of this place <laughs> I agree I gotta get out of this place but first we're gonna take the green candle and where the green candle is below to. It's moss here. The color of our own angels. Hmm. Bong. Bong. The bell. Bong. Bong. Green is the color of our little angels. Yeah, they are green. Don't you know that? Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Judo is whatever it is, it's not Korean. You sure? Are you sure about that? <sighs> Ooh, key! <sighs> Confessory. Okay, now we can go to the there. Again, we are in the wrong year. Madison Hill, 1944-1987. Oh, the skeleton came out! Look at it! The skeleton escaped! Let's steal it. No, it's not her skull, it's my skull now! Sorry, not sorry, it's mine now. Founders keepers. Whoop. 
No time to die. Nice. I am expecting that here is gonna be a monster. Almost ready to bet about it. That in this place there is gonna be a monster. If not, I will be very fucking surprised. Oh, a brick Bricks. wall. Where is the monster? Dumb spear incoming. Bricks. <laughs> now the another wall is gonna be closer. No? Where is the monster? Bricks, the monster, everybody, monster of them all. Curious excitement over skeletons never gets old. <laughs> Monster this time? No, still the bricks. Oh. What? That's nasty. Another monster? Hmm? No monster? Monster? Yep. Achievement unlocked. Here is here. Called it. There was a monster. But still, somehow, apparently, we are not dead. Bricks. Wait. So it wasn't what was supposed to happen. Wait. So we really died. What? Okay. So. Probably a trick for it, but what is the trick? This one is gonna disappear, right? Yeah. What? And this one disappeared. So now I can't go there because he's gonna be there. So lost once again. That doesn't have anything. Doesn't have anything. Where 
something I don't see. Hi, Clan Onion Knight. How are you today? alive well I'm happy to hear that you are alive there is nothing here I'm okay for the most part hmm. sounds good Hydration is at optimal levels. How has the game been? You can't once do the spoilers. Well, I got to say, it has been quite a good so far. Like, I really like it, how it looks like and how it plays like. Uh, some of the puzzles you're gonna fucking hate. But hey, there is already walkthroughs, so and they are doable. Um, but overall, like somebody mentioned that it's could compare it to Visage, and yeah. What GPU do you have in your PC? Wondering if you should do PS5 or PC. Uh, it's listed on the info panel because I never remember what G uh, CP GPU I have. It should be on the info panel. But yeah, like it plays smoothly. It feels like it's well optimized. Uh, sounds work. The only thing is like, well, at the moment there is no issue with it. But sometimes there is sound, like small jump scares all the time, kind of thing. But it also could be the old house creaking or something. Also, it's way longer than I thought. Your GPU is a little old now, and you're worried it won't be enough. If you are worried that it won't be enough, then I would say go with the PS5. Also, like, it definitely has a big pile of stuff with the horror games that I do like. Like, big pile of them. And I honestly like what they have done with some of the puzzles overall and the camera. And so far, the story has been super interesting. But how are you? <sighs> Planning on ordering another part for the giant nemesis figure. What is the... to hear the positives. You hate puzzles, but oh well, that's normal for horror. Yeah, sadly way too many horror games has puzzles big pile, but hey, at least this one has the uh, things with it, so you can, like if you feel like you can't find a solution that says you'll find a walkthrough and that's it. With like uh, with a lot of different games that are completely new, you can't do that because no one has played it yet. But this came out today, and there is already walkthroughs and everything, so I'm pleased. You're very very tired. Wishing you could sleep like a normal person for just a little while. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And at the same time, very damn relatable. Hopefully you get some proper sleep soon. Hopefully I'm still at work. Aw, poor thing. How long are you gonna be at work? Your order is upper body, so you can start putting the rest of it together and it will be done. Hmm, almost done. Sounds good. Sounds really good. I think. 
Four more minutes. It's not bad, you can do it, I believe in you. There is like an hour and a half left in the walkthrough at this point. Huh. John. John. Finally, we answered the phone. I've tried to call you. What's coming? For Priest late Thomas for speaking. Hours. Okay. I was able to finally get the information you asked for. And the truth is, is yeah, so please do you like is, this new pillar. I'm worried about your family. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Generally so far, like, I'm impressed. I was very worried that it's going to be a flop since I have been playing a lot of horror games recently that came out very, very close by, and of some an of them were absolutely. Sentimental value to you. Infuriating, but this one I haven't found things that it would be missing. The only thing that's bothering me is puzzles. Of their and dishonesty. They will send you a picture of every way you can get a picture. Definitely excited to see you. Directly for themselves with their own sentimental objects. They bought the sacrifice with the emotions of others. But this perverse being is trying to go beyond even that. Speaking of an ancient ritual, of which very little is known. Seven sacrifices, seven mutilations. Seven I believe we are facing a, a, a body exchange type of ritual. Madison Hale was trying to complete such a ritual before she was murdered, and now she is forcing your child to finish it for her. She is trying to steal your son's body. body Call me between? as soon as you get this message. Is that what she's after? Right. That did not sound good. Did we get any new items from there? Yeah, the skull. Where are we putting the skull? So this one. Is it nineteen or eighteen? Eighteen. Four. Four. Okay, that doesn't work. What was the another? Fifty one, I think, was the another here. And then I was thinking. should probably find a perfect place to save up the game and leave it there and continue tomorrow so we will have some time to still play it tomorrow all right time for you to finally leave the office see you later okay safe travels and thank you for stopping by i proceeded hopefully you have a lovely rest of your day